Namaste Libras and Libra Risings and welcome to Soul Horoscope Super Scopes. My name is Christopher Wotecki. I'm your sensei to Sirius Troy and I believe there are 11 steps to stepping into enlightenment on earth which I call Sirius Troy. And when you are a Libra or a Libra Rising, you're natural born at step six. Step six is the step of giving and receiving. It is the step of relationships. In fact, we don't really relate to others until step six. So it's, there are five steps, actually six steps, before step six, before you get into a relationship. I know, Libras don't do that. I want to be in a relationship to get off right from the beginning. So what are the Libras up to and what are the Libra Risings up to? Well, they are up to profound changes in reality. You're going to step into a new reality, a new step 11. All right? That's what reality is, step 11, the final step when it all crystallizes and becomes physical. And you're going to have a profound shift in your awareness. Now, basically, it's time for the Libras and Libra Risings to let their psychic awareness in. That is the essence of what the change is. And this is, this is the first time I think Libras are getting pushed in the pool since Atlantis, all right, since a long, long, long time ago, if you believe in this sort of thing. So there are many, many, many things leading up to this change, which I want to kind of lay out, of why your, the way you live in the moment needs to change. Let's lay them out. For one, the sun's crossing Neptune this week. Neptune's at step five. It hasn't been in Pisces at this degree since 1864, a long time ago. And this is the week that Abraham Lincoln announced Ulysses S. Grant would be leading the Northern Army. So that, that was a shocking uh, announcement. And this week there might be shocking announcements, but back then the Libras and Libra Risings were also stepping into a new reality, all right? So it's a profound uh, transition, and it's one that's literally taking us up higher. But there's other stuff. Saturn in Scorpio. Saturn's been in Scorpio since October 2012, and this is telling Libras, hey, it's time to raise the self-esteem. So you've been raising and raising and raising your self-esteem and confidence, trying to make money, trying to manifest money, trying to draw in abundance, and that has finally reached a degree where you're going to have breakthrough as well. So self-esteem and money breaking through. But yet, here's another story of why your reality is changing. Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto in Capricorn, uh, now at 12 degrees. This means that you're going to see uh, a, total, uh, a total breakthrough uh, in, your personal, uh, in your personal changes. And the last time Pluto was at 12 degrees was actually 1768, which is the American Revolution. All right? Uh, and what does that mean for you? It means a profound change in how grounded you feel on Earth. You, the way you connect your own emotions. So Librans are more emotional than they've ever been since uh, and ever upgraded since then. They're, uh, they're more progressed in their ability to manifest and feel valuable in themselves than they ever have been. And then lastly, Jupiter and Cancer, Libras and Libra Risings are now feeling their way on the right career legacy and making the right decisions. What do I mean by right? Well, decisions for you. I think what this all comes down to is a new reality where you put yourself first before you try to balance other people. And in order to do that, you need to be psychically aware in the moment and be sensing in the moment what's good for you and sensing what around you is not good for you and putting you first. You have always thrown yourself to the wind for the benefit of others, and that is a poor man's way to balance reality. So I believe this is a profound change in the way you live in the world by putting spirit first in the moment, by putting your spirit first in the moment, and by listening to your psychic awareness before you jump into a situation. Maybe it can't be fixed. Maybe it can't be balanced. Maybe God Universe is saying no. These are all the profound changes. Now, because of all this happening and culminating at once, you are getting more sensitive in the moment. You have more emotional balance. You are feeling more confident, all these different things. And so as you step into your psychic awareness and you step into your sensitivity, there are two words that will get you through the day, and it is, it's okay. This is what I teach in my readings and what I teach with my personal clients is you have to say to yourself, it's okay. So to stay grounded and pull all these things off, career, home, family, foundation changes, self-esteem and money, it's okay. The, the mantra is it's okay. It won't be okay. It is okay now because you said so. That's why it's okay. And this is compassion is what we're talking here. These are my words for compassion. Compassion is so important for the self. And if you think you're going to pull off great things, don't think that Gandhi wasn't on the railroad track saying, it's okay, before the train comes. He was a Libra, by the way, one of my favorite Libras. So it's okay, it will be okay, because you said so, and so it is. Now this week, through the weekend, that's when there's going to be breakdown, likely lifestyle breakdowns for 
the Libras and Libra Risings, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, big breakdowns. This is where what you had faith in doesn't have work anymore. That's where you thought you were okay, but you weren't checking your psychic intuition and you weren't affirming that you were okay. So definitely some breakdowns happening on those days. Now by Tuesday, the sun comes out to play. The moon crosses Venus. It's Love Fest Day and you will be feeling the love. You should feel rejuvenated uh, as the moon crosses uh, through uh, Capricorn energy and you sh should feel grounded on Love Fest Day and you're giving and receiving. It's a very high Love Fest. It's AVQ24, so it's very high. 8VQ24, Venus quotient. Now Mercury is still retrograde all week long and actually what are you reconsidering the retrograde? You're actually reconsidering what your heart truly wants. But I believe you will come to a conclusion on Thursday as the moon crosses Mercury and Mercury goes direct on Friday. So you will know what your heart wants and be more clear on that. Getting the Figuring out what your reality needs to be and getting into a more sensitive psychic spiritual space was necessary before you can figure out what your heart truly wanted. Your heart wasn't didn't feel safe enough, I don't think, to come out. So this all leads really to Friday, which is like cast day. And like cast day is the most powerful day of the month to manifest your spiritual intentions and what your heart's desires are. So on Friday, you want to love and trust and hold space that this new, the old life is dead and the new life is here. And you really have to believe and love and trust and hold that space for the whole time. So for those of you who are watched over by me and GA Venus and whatnot, I will be reminding you that it's okay and texting you and emailing you and really nagging you to death. Now, for those of you who want to know about your love story, where's the love story for the Libras and Libra Risings? Well, also for the six VQs, if you're born with Venus in Libra, you have a six VQ, a six Venus quotient, which means that you apply the laws of Libra to your ability to love on earth and how you love yourself. So where are the six VQs or the Libras when it comes to love? Well, it's about setting up the nest for true love. You still want to give and receive and be there for yourself on a very high emotional level. In fact, you want to respond on a high level to yourself this week, which means you don't let yourself fall into princess mode or prince mode. You don't let yourself fall into weak at the knees. You respond higher for yourself, which means you totally uh, uh, accept and receive where your feelings are, and then you help them restore to balance. You, you, do, you make the response that will ease the inner child, not make it more anxious. And when you do this, you draw in someone who is an easy lover, someone who is easy with you. So it's very important for the six VQs, the Libras and Libra Risings, to respond differently this week in a more loving and self-compassionate way. It's okay applies to you as well, okay? Now, if you'd like to get your VQ and you're a lady, come on down to gavenus.me. That's our Facebook social network. And if you'd like me to remind you that it's okay, I'm happy to do it uh, with the first seven days for free. Come on down to gavenus.com. Either way, I'm here for you. And if you don't have those interests, I still have more for you at soulmar.me. In fact, I recorded a whole bunch, two hours of original videos that helps people understand where their Venus is, how to calculate it, and what the quotient is. It's down at soulmar.me. Click on Soul Garden. You'll see this little logo here. So I do appreciate you coming down. And by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, would you do us a favor and please subscribe? We do appreciate that. And for all of you out there in the 6VQ land or the Libras, be good to yourself. Remember, it's okay. It's be okay because you said so. And I'll see you in seven days, okay? Until then, live, love, be.